In this lecture, I will explain ideal transformer is operating under no load condition and practical transformer is operating under no load condition of a phasor diagram. So, in an ideal transformer is operating under no load condition, a magnetizing component of current is required to produce the flux. The angle between the supply voltage and the magnetizing component of current is 90 degrees because of inductive nature of the coil. Inductive nature of the coil. So with this, uh, E is directly proportional to D5 by dt. The angle between the flux and induced EMF is 90 degrees, which is lagging with respect to flux. The induced EMFs are lagging with respect to flux. The angle between the voltage and the induced EMFs are 180 degrees. Then we can say that it is a phase shifting device. Coming to the practical transformer, so we are drawing the same phase diagram of an ideal transformer is operating under no load condition. But only one more current is added. So this is a magnetizing component of current. And one more current is added that is watt full component of current. So watt full component of current is added that is in phase with the supply voltage. You can say that it is an active component of the current where IW is a active component of the current active component of current so here we are having a two currents one is a I mu bar plus IW bar that is your no load condition means no load current is flowing through a transformer so this is a transformer diagram core type of transformer I am on the winding two windings are wounded like this this is uh, this one is primary winding and this is the secondary winding so here I am giving the supply which is operating under no load condition so one current is required to produce the flux that current is called the magnetizing component of current and the additional current is required to produce the or to meet the losses that is called the iron losses. There are two types of iron losses. One is a uh, hysteresis loss and uh, eddy current losses. By adding these two phasors, I am getting a resultant no load current is I naught. The angle between voltage and current is called the phi naught. Where phi naught is called the no load power factor angle no load power factor angle so this is a phasor diagram and a practical transform is operating under no load conditions once uh, this current is called the no load current s i naught bar and i naught is in the range of 5 to 8 percentage of full load current and I mu is greater than greater than that of watt full component of current and the phi naught is approximately equal to 75 to 80 degrees and the no load power factor of the transformer is approximately equal to 0 0.2 lagging that means less than 0.5 you are getting once it will be loaded once it will be loaded what will happen so the coil one or primary winding is wanted like this so under no load operating condition the no load current is flowing now here i am connecting a load then load current is flowing through the load before that uh, i am repenting the mutual flux or uh, main field flux this will produce as opposing flux and the net flux will be decreases and induced EMF in the primary winding and the secondary winding decreases and the current drawn from the transformer is increases that we already discussed that is called the I1 dash now you will get the I1 bar so for the same phasor diagram we are adding an extra component 
these are e1 and e2 this is 90 degrees this is also 90 degrees the magnetizing component of current and the wattful component of current is in phase with the supply voltage so by adding these two vectors i am getting the resultant no load current but uh, we, here we are not considering the resistance see here resistance of the winding is assumed as zero the, then you should draw the phasor diagrams in an examination he he will ask the pro, draw the phasor diagram of practical transformer neglecting the resistance of the winding neglecting the resistance of the winding you should draw these all these phasor diagrams for lagging power factor so i am drawing the phasor diagram for a lagging power factor so i am assuming that or i am neglecting the angle between the e2 and v2 where v2 is called the terminal voltage and e2 is the emf which is induced in the secondary winding so v2 is in phase component v2 is in phase component with respect to v2 the load current is lagging at an angle of phi2 with respect to v2 i2 is lagging at an angle of phi2 okay you should see the power factor of the load with respect to v2 not with respect to i2 this phi2 is called the secondary power factor angle secondary power factor angle with this i2 there is a reflected co coefficient that is you can in some of the textbooks he is given as i1 dash in some of the textbooks he is given as i2 dash you can follow any notation the reflected component of the current is flowing that is i2 dash by adding these two phasors yes i2 dash bar plus i0 bar then i will get the i1 bar so draw a line which is uh, parallel to i0 and draw a line which is parallel to i2 dash then i am getting the resultant current is i1 this resultant current is i1 the angle between v1 and i1 the angle between v1 and i1 is called the phi1 and the angle between v1 and i2 dash is called the phi1 dash where phi1 dash is equal to phi2 this is called the uh, secondary power factor angle this phi2 this phi2 is equal to phi1 dash so the angle between the supply voltage and uh, the primary current is uh, primary power factor angle if you want to draw the phasor diagram for a leading power factor remember this is uh, by neglecting the resistance of the winding is uh, zero and the leakage reactance is also zero we are not considering that one and this is uh, e1 and e2 and v2 is also in phase uh, i am neglecting the small angle and iw is in phase with uh, supply voltage the same phase diagram i am drawing here i am getting the resultant current that is called the no load power factor resultant current is i not and the no load power factor is phi not okay after that for leading power factor with respect to v2 the i2 is leading at an angle of i2 so this is called the i2 with respect to v2 it is leading with the i2 is flowing again the same story i2 dash is exactly 180 degrees so by adding these two vectors i2 dash and uh, a1 dash then i am getting the i1 that is a resultant current so the angle between the v1 and i2 dash is called the phi1 dash this is very very important for a leading power factor with respect to v2 i2 is uh, leading and the i2 dash is exactly 180 degrees after that by adding these two phasors 
you can remember the equations like this i naught bar is equal to i mu bar plus i w bar and i1 bar the primary current is equal to i naught bar plus i2 dash bar so last one is for a unity power factor if you go for the unity power factor so v1 so magnetizing component of current e1 e2 v2 i w is active component up to this is constant right so by adding these two vectors or phases then i am getting the resultant current the angle between these two is called the phi naught for a unity power factor for a unity power factor the i2 is also in phase component unity power factor means the angle between v2 and i2 is 0 degrees the i2 dash is in this direction exactly 180 degrees to i2 so by adding these two so i2 dash and i naught the i2 dash and uh, i naught means dry line which is parallel to i naught so dry line which is uh, parallel to i2 dash then your resultant current is i1 the angle between v1 and i1 is called the phi1 what is the secondary power factor angle 0 degrees the secondary power factor angle is 0 degrees remember for all the cases we are assuming the resistance and the leakage reactance is equal to 0 suppose uh, the previous year questions that means in the one of the universities he asked draw the phasor diagrams draw the phasor diagram of a single phase transformer single phase transformer draw the phasor diagram of a single phase transformer operating under no operating on load condition with considering with considering resistance of the winding with considering the resistance of the winding so this is the previous year uh, question is uh, asking in one of the universities so how we can uh, draw the phasor diagram for this so this is the supply voltage v1 supply voltage is v1 and the magnetizing component of current and this is flux and E1 and E2 is lagging with respect to flux by 90 degrees. What full component of the current is in phase with the supply voltage? By drawing or by adding these two phases, resultant I am getting the no load current. This is for lagging power factor. So because we are considering the internal resistance drop also, by considering the resistance of the winding means we are not neglecting the small angle between E2 and V2 so E2 is equal to V2 plus I2 into R2 we are considering we are considering a small drop a small drop and small angle also considered small angle is present 
between E2 and V2. So this is V2. Now with respect to V2, with respect to V2, the I2 current is lagging at an angle of phi2. Again the same story. There is a reflected component on the primary. This is I2 dash is equal to K times of I2. K times of I2. So by adding these two vectors, then I am get the resultant current that is called the primary current. The angle between the V1 and I1 is called the primary power factor angle. This is for the lagging power factor. For that, you should remember the equations. I0 bar is equal to I mu bar plus I w bar. I mu bar plus I w bar and I2 dash is equal to K times of I2. The primary current I1 dash is equal to I0 bar plus I2 dash bar. So if it is for a leading power factor, you should draw the phasor diagram like this. The angle between V1 and uh, the flux is 90 degrees flux is 90 degrees so the angle between the flux and induced units are 90 degrees so here the angle between E2 and V2 is called the small angle that is called the delta with respect to V2 I2 is leads at an angle of phi2. With this I2, there is a reflected component on the primary. So we are representing the no load current, right? So this is the no load current. I not. So by adding these two vectors, dry line which is parallel to this one, which is parallel to I2 dash. And this one is I naught. The length, the resultant current will be I1. The angle between these two is phi1. So if it is a unity power factor, if you want to draw the phasor diagram for a unity power factor, so magnetizing component of current and flux both are is in same phase this is E1 and E2 this is V2 V1 what full component of current this is uh, resilient current is I0 this is a small angle is present so the I2 is also in phase the I2 dash is uh, like this, exactly 180 degrees, exactly 180 degrees by adding these two. Then I am getting the resultant current. The angle between the supply voltage and current is called the primary power factor angle. So primary power factor. So these are all phasor diagrams. These are all phasor diagrams for lagging power factor, leading power factor, and unity power factor without considering the resistance of the winding and with considering of resistance of the winding. And this came in uh, I think it, it is 2017 or 2018 paper in one of the university. Thank you.